Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro the Dragon for PlayStation 1. Uh, last time we went through the hub world and pretty much uh, collected everything that's available here. If you look at the inventory, you can see we've done the home, the artisan's home. There are several homes in the game, so there'll be more of this later. Uh, but for the moment we're going to head into one of these levels. I think we'll start with Stonehill here. Since it's the one that's closest to where you spawn, which is on top of that platform up there, it seems to make sense. Uh... So yeah, every time you travel between a level, this little cash-in thing happens to show how much treasure you got. It's pretty cute. Uh... And then you're gonna land like this. As you can see, this level is filled with treasure all over the place. There's some big old charging balls here. You gotta use fire and then you can't charge them because they're very big. And Spyro is very small and very cute, so obviously, yeah, you gotta, you gotta use charge when you deal with them. Pretty simple. Um, we come over this way. There's another one of these guys. We just use fire, there we go. Let's grab all of these. Uh, I believe there's still like a hundred treasure here. No, two hundred treasure here. Okay, so there's a lot to do in Stonehill. Um, I believe there's also some dragon eggs in this level, but it doesn't show up there until I think you have to have gotten one for them to start showing up in the map in the in the section there. So it's inventory. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're gonna just grab some gems. I don't know why there's a bull living inside here. It seems like a bad place for a large animal. Uh, he's a dragon. I forget what this one says. Had the you freed all the dragons? Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thing. I think that one tells you about the return home portal. Oh, uh, which is the one of the ways to return home. You can also just pause no the game and go exit shit. area. Uh, and you don't have to leave until you're ready. So, even though it did give you an exit, you don't have to use it straight away. See? Oh, there's the portal, which are home. Uh, but you don't want to go there just yet. What you actually want to do is jump off the edge here. Uh, you can't go in the water, but if you jump onto the beach here, there's a bunch of stuff you can get. Uh, it's hidden down here. Da, da, da. There's a key, and there's a bunch of these chests. These ones are made of metal, which makes them somehow fireproof. It doesn't really make sense, but charging them will do the trick. There we go. And you can use this little whirlwind here to get back up. Easy peasy. It makes you automatically glide when you use the whirlwind, so... Um, keep that in mind, if you don't want to automatically glide, you'll have to not use the whirlwind. You know, I probably could use headphones with this game, because it's on the on an emulator, or I can just hook it up to the computer sound. Huh. I might do that for the next episode, I don't want to mess around too much in the middle of, a, middle of recording. Just because it'll be harder to sync up the two audio tracks that way, if I fiddle with it too much. So yeah, we're getting lots of treasure nice and quick. We haven't taken any damage, otherwise it would be, it'd be annoying if we didn't have sparks here to pick up all this stuff, because you have to actually touch it with Spyro's hitbox instead of just walking near it. Uh, thankfully we've not taken any damage. I don't remember what this one's about at all. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving Possibly your Possibly about the different types of enemies, that could be useful and how you go to use fire and trouble. Of Charging. Not that you Can't ever remember. run into trouble, <laughs> Anyway, that's six dragons, so we're making good progress. Uh, we should have eight by the end of this video, because there's two more in this world. Uh, there's some sheep there, so if you wanted to heal up, you could, you could whack a sheep. Uh, we don't need to heal up, though, so we're not going to. Uh, there's also some... There's this well here, which looks kind of suspicious, because uh, you can actually jump into it. And there's some more loot and stuff down here. Uh, there's also the chest over here. You can see it's made of metal, so fire won't work. And it's kind of big, so it's not chargeable. Like, if you charge into it, it'll just pop off. Okay. See? Basically, if something is big and made of metal, you need to use something else to get into it. In this case, it's that key we found earlier. 
There we go. Full of more gems. Test, test gems. And I think this one tells you to use the whirlwind to get back up. Watch the dragonfly spiral. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. I can't really remember what they all say, honestly. Uh, anyway, that's seven dragons, so that's pretty good. Uh, there's now going to be a whirlwind over there that we can use to get back out of the well. So we're going to use that. Uh, there's not much down there. The well's pretty pretty simple. Um, but then you've got... I think this is the one where we haven't been yet? Yes. So this leads to the second area of the level, uh, which is quite a bit bigger than the first bit, uh, but still hasn't got too much stuff, I suppose. Uh, you've got a couple more of these balls, which all have treasure in them, so remember to burn them. You also have these shepherds here. Uh, they will whap you if you get too close, so you want to prepare, prepare, prepare your fire and get in there before they can hit you. Uh, it's not too tricky, but they can be a little tricky if you happen to have the camera around the wrong way or something and you don't realise that you're near them. I think their range is pretty good, so you want to make sure you have your fire ready. Uh, so that they can't burn you too much. One of these break, there we go. Nice. <laughs> I think that's everything on the ground floor, actually. Yeah. See, it looks a lot bigger, but there isn't a whole lot to do in that bit, so you just pretty much go on and go to this part. Uh, you got another dragon here, and a little bit of loot. I think this dragon tells you how to glide over to the side there, which is where we'll be going next. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! Yeah, sure well, the longest glide, try press to the anyway. X button at the Can top of the jump, and try to make pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. <sighs> okay, so eight, that's all the dragons in this world. Uh, there's still more treasure to get though, so we're going to glide over here, where the treasure is. Uh, you want to be careful there, you can fall off that edge, uh, which is a bad idea. And we've got some more jimmies here. Okay, that's the thief. They're these little blue fellows wearing turbans and stuff. You have to charge into them like that to get the egg. It's usually a lot harder. This is the first one in the game, but yeah, you've got to basically chase them until you manage to catch up with them by constantly charging in their direction. And often they'll take complicated routes and stuff to make it tricky. Uh, so if we check our inventory now, it should say... Oh, alright, eggs work that way. I forgot about that. Um, eggs have a separate section there, as you can see, rather than having a counter. There's usually only one or maybe two eggs per world, so, well, level, so that makes sense. Uh, over here, there is a visible wall, uh, between these pillars, basically. Just because you're not allowed to go that way, um, something over there anyway. Otherwise, you'd be able to go over there and get it. Uh, you can see this is the first area again, the well's down there, so we're basically looping around behind that to get more treasure and stuff up here. And this whole area is designed for the um, race with the egg thief. Uh, so that you can run all the way around and chase them and stuff. But I got them real quick because I'm, I'm apparently I'm okay at video games. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go off that edge because you'll just fall in the water and, and hurt yourself and be stuck down there. You can't like jump out of the water after taking damage, but because you're so far down, you'll just hit the water again and keep taking damage. So yeah, uh, there's a couple more, couple more gems we need. I think they're all on this thing. At this point, shouldn't be too much left. Uh, yeah, there should be one more green gem here somewhere. Uh, I might need to. Hmm. Let me see here. <laughs> Where is that last green thing again? If we go this way, maybe I'll find it? Let's head this way, see what we can find. Um, heck. It's got this uh, last lousy treasure problem that some games have. It's over here, here we go. Okay, there we go. So we now have everything that this level has to offer. Uh, and that's in about 10 minutes. I might do one more level. Just... Well, maybe I'll keep it short. I don't know. 
Anyway, uh, once you've gotten everything, which you can tell by looking at the inventory and seeing it's all filled in, you can either just go exit level in the menu, or you can go back to that return home point, which I think was this way, yes. And jump on the whirlwind to get out. Either way it works, doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, it'll cash in the treasure we found, so that's a total of 300 so far, as you can see. And then we swoop back into Stone Hill, the enemies are back. Uh, these enemies we've already gotten, so you can see if you kill them now, they'll give us these pearls instead. Uh, the pearls basically, they fill up that bar around Spyro's face in the life meter, uh, with little dots, and when you get all the little dots, you get an extra life. As you can see, we've got two now, so yeah, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I might do another level. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, Dark Hollow. This is like a nighttime level, basically. Uh, I didn't find any treasure because I already got all the treasure in the home, so that's okay. Okay, uh, here we have enemies that have shields, so with those guys, the shields are metal proof, so you've got to actually uh, use fire to get them. I sort of demonstrated that, that was a demo. <laughs> you can also hit them like when their shields aren't up in order to get them with fire, but usually it's easier to charge into them. Uh, up here we've got some gems. First couple of gems for the level, there we go. There's another one of these uh, locked chests, so there will be a key around here somewhere. You can glide over here, this big fellow you can't charge, you have to use fire. But they only take one hit with fire, so it's no big deal. Um, take out these two, there we go. Uh, there's a dragon over here, we'll be freeing, I can't remember what they say. I will definitely look into setting up my headphones for the next one, so that we don't have this problem with me forgetting oh, it's you. what happens in this game, because there's no text at all what the characters creatures. say. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but I think it's something about the enemies with shields and the big enemies and have to use charging or fire appropriately. Something like that anyway. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, that's everything up there, so we don't have to go up there again. We'll have to go back for that chest once we've gotten the key. I forget where it is, but it's around here somewhere. Uh, here you want to be careful because these little ones uh, have a big one behind them, so you want to switch quickly to fire after you've gone through the little one, basically. There we go. Uh, easy peasy. These little frogs are the guys with butterflies in, in this kingdom. This level kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Odyssey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's jump up these little steps here. There we go. Uh, and you can glide over here to get this loot that we were seeing. There's an extra life. A bit of other stuff. We haven't actually lost any lives yet, so um, we'll probably end up with quite a few lives by the end of the game. Since we keep getting more of them, then we're not really losing a whole lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so head back up here. Over this direction, there's some more stuff. Yeah, there's a green gem here. Whoop. There we go, got it. I don't think these fires can hurt me. Like, I lit the fire, so it'd be a bit annoying if it could hurt me, but I don't think it can. Yeah, see? I think you'd be immune to that. I'm pretty sure some fires in this game can hurt you, though. It's just that those ones don't. So that's a bit strange. Take out the big guy with the fire, and take out the little guys to charge him because they have shields, there we go. Not too tricky. Uh, there's another big guy down there, so I'll have to get that guy in a sec. First up, let's grab these gems around here. Uh, there's a return home portal. You can see the levels aren't especially big. They do get a bit more difficult like and a bit longer, but be this is pretty much the flame, sort of size to be expected. Be I think that's something to do with maybe the big enemy hiding down there, but I don't remember. Let's head down this way. Uh, I could just jump down, but you know, there were gems on the little steps, so we had to take the little steps as well. Um, okay, so that's all that's down here. Jump that way back up. Okay, this level's a bit more linear in terms of how you have to get through it, but not too bad. It's, it's still pretty exploration y. 
couple of side paths, for example, like down here, which is where the rest of the stuff that we're looking for is. Okay, this guy has a uh, armor, but is also big, so you can't charge him. You have to actually face it away because he has no armor on his back for some reason. And then you can use fire. Easy peasy. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't put any armor on his back when he's walking back and forth, but there you go. How much good a wooden shield going to do you against the dragon? <laughs> uh, here there's actually water, so you do have to watch out. Um, well, it's only on some of the ground, not everywhere. There's a dragon also. There we go. It's Osborn. Spyro. Want to know a secret? Use the triangle button dragon, when you dragon, want dragon, to zoom dragon. in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, there's a bit more loot to gather around here, including the key that we need to open that chest at the beginning. So we're just gonna head over here and grab that. Uh, I think the key, yeah, you have to actually touch it, even though you have sparks. Sparks will not pick up things like keys. Just regular treasure. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Uh, if you're you know, playing this this game and you're trying to get stuff and you don't want to walk near it, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's jump straight up there. We don't need the, we don't need the first step. Uh, Lean down this way. The enemies, I believe, don't respawn until you've died, so there's nothing to worry about on the way back out. So we can just make our way through here. And unlock this chest from earlier. Easy peasy, there we go. Quick. Can't, oh, you can skip the cutscene. You can skip that cutscene, alright. Did not know that. Um, and that's everything in this world, I believe. Let's check our inventory. Dark Hollow, three dragons, 100. There's no egg here. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything in this level. Good for us. Uh, I'm gonna head to return home just so we have a bit more time. So, appreciate the beautiful aesthetic beautiful popping textures of the classic PlayStation 1 era. <laughs> okay, let's let's hit the portal. There we go. Treasure found. 100 treasure. Ka-ching! And here we are, back in the, back in the, this place, the overworld. Okay, so uh, that's probably it for this video. Uh, we've done two of the levels. I believe there are two more, so that's probably a good order to do it in. All right, can we? What do you think? Uh, there's the boss, and there's the town hall. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's. I think there's two levels. I think that we can do that too. Uh, there's actually also a level hidden over here, but I don't think you can unlock it until later in the game. I think you have to come back once you've found out how to unlock it. Basically, you jump on those uh, five little platforms, but it won't work until you've heard from the dragon that tells you about it. Uh, kind of like a hint to Art Moon. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to save now. There we go. Save to game. Saving. Game saved. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on how to meow. I mean, I already know how to do that, but... You know, if you if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but also, if you have some ideas about, you know, this this uh, this let's play, you want to suggest I do something differently, or you want to suggest I play a different game. Also, either way, I'm interested. Um, if you want to, you know, tell me I'm cute. That's also good. Um, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say is fine. So, thanks for watching, and that's it for now.